just giving a little bit of punch here and it feels nice yeah this thing got some good torque i'm barely touching the pedal and this thing just goes really nice Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to Peter's Auto Block. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Today we're behind the wheel of a 2023 Ford Escape ST Line Select. Now I'm very excited because I basically own the same type of car but just in the third generation of the Ford Escape. This has got the two liter engine with all wheel drive and uh, mine is basically what they call the Ingox Silver. This is the iconic silver color that we have on this one here. Really pretty, uh, beautiful metallic and silver color on this Ford Escape. Now before we go on guys, I want to give a big shout out to Bart to Ford for allowing me some time with this Ford Escape. Big, big thank you to them, big shout out to them and I'll put all their information in the link to their website in the description Great. below. So here we have this 20 23 Ford Escape ST Line Select. Now, of course, this is kind of the sportier version of what Ford offers enough for the 2023 Ford Escape. This one here, as I mentioned, is finished in, in uh, iconic silver with the interior. It's kind of like a black uh, Active X material, which is between a combination of the leather and the cloth, which is a really cool interior with some red stitching. Now, now as you can see, guys, this one is equipped with the 19 inch optional wheels. These are black. These are really nice aluminum combination of two tone black and interior black and aluminum wheel. These are wrapped around 225 uh, millimeter bridge on a, a copia tire these are all season tire i believe really nice for this guys now of course this is being the new st line for 2023 it's got different cladding for this kind of sport line uh of the ford escape of course, so as you can see it's a little more sporty or sporter than the regular ford escape it's more sitting out there for like a for like a port focus rs as you can see we got the antenna there a little bit of different sliding here for the top there we got some roof rails really nice what the ford has done i mean obviously this kind of this is a slight refresh of the 20 of the fourth generation so for 2022 we got a bit of updated lighting which is kind of i showed it if you guys remember i did a show, i did show this one around december time when i went to the central florida auto show they had one of these in display obviously the front has changed in the interior wise not much differences but the port has definitely updated the technology a little bit in the exterior styling as we see in this 2023 now of course guys here in the bottom we got a little bit different cladding for this st line as well uh this kind of the bottom reminds me of my ford escape it's got two exhausts with a little bit of black trim there and a little bit of aluminum in the very bottom so as you can see we got the overdrive name there with ford escape and we've got a camera here here as well and of course the led lights here now for 2023 also, ford uh, kind of basically did away from the s the sel kind of models they went down now we have a base now we have a active we have the st line we have three versions of the sn which is the base st line this is select and then we have the elite then we have a platinum and then we have the plug-in hybrid model so basically this started at about twenty eight thousand dollars for the base and you go all the way up to about forty thousand five hundred dollars for the plug-in hybrid and everything in between this one here is kind of mid like mid 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 uh mid trim level because obviously this has got all the drops it's got the two liter motor no sunroof on this one but i love the way this interior this exterior looks and also the interior now of course guys the biggest uh, change for the front is uh, the biggest change for 2023 had to be the front as you can see here we have led lighting here for this one this one does not have the whole light across here what ford calls the coast to coast lighting this one is not equipped with it but of course you can equip with that it looks really cool as you can see the one i did in december had that lighting option this one does not have, but this one does have led lighting for the headlights and the fog as well as you can see we got all body color here with all the cleaning here at the bottom and of course the st line gives you this kind of honeycomb grill that's special for this st line models obviously the other models have a little bit different grill than this one this one as well does have active shutters as well depending on the needs of the engine coming around here guys you can see really nice the way it is obviously quite different so this kind of goes more back to what the, two, the third generation kind of look like but it's really nice i mean it's kind of like a, it's got a little bit of mustang ish to it and my, i might get fried for that or my people not, might like my comment but it does have a little bit of that mustang ish look to it but still a handsome looking suv you know very sporty and ford has kind of put a little more carish you know design into this ford escape now let's go ahead and check out the rear here i have the key with me here uh we have open 
close we have remote start of course double click to open up the tailgate and panic obviously forced to doing the same kind of key let's go ahead guys and open up the rear hatch and check out as you can see you got some of the early landing here which is really cool obviously we got a backup camera as well so as you can see guys here we have about 37.5 cubic feet of space that's with the seats up obviously if you put the seats then you have a lot more space very very similar to my third generation escape except some of these panels are differently shaped obviously that's changed for the fourth gen here we have a 12 volt connection and uh if you put up here we got some as you can see this is not in my third generation for escape this is not in there they do have it for this fourth gen here some hooks and of course if we raise this up we do have a spare tire which is awesome i had a flat tire in my escape about three weeks ago and unfortunately i had this thing inflated because sometimes these things deflate if you don't check them for a while you have to have this thing make sure you got this thing inflated now the only thing about this one here on my ford escape and ford had some issues with the lug nuts that they kind of became inflated or they kind of i don't know it was weird i couldn't fit the the basically the lug nut wrench into the things and it was a mess i had a call triple a and basically they had to play my tire so you gotta make sure guys if you have a flat tire make sure to check your lug nuts because those things kind of really uh, disintegrate over time especially if it's an older model i don't know it's a problem prop ford had with the lug nut just a little side note on that so but i see guys plenty of space over here plenty now this one here as you can see we squip with that little black uh active x leather or imitation leather it's got some cloth as well but this one's got the rest stitching as well which is part of the st line that part of the things that's really cool cool the way that looks so really nice guys simple space here i believe this escapes can tow about 30,000 pounds i'll put that information for you guys and put up on the screen if you get the tow package on this one's it's pretty light where you can tow with it but this is the best thing you to do it with especially with all-wheel drive so let's go ahead and put this down so as you can see guys you can put it down with that of course you can no longer have the thing the foot activation i think for eliminated that so obviously that was an awesome feature but they no longer have that as well right, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the engine of this ford escape let's go ahead and pop the hood there Let's go ahead and pop the hood guys you just have to just lift it up and we've already pressed it twice so just we're gonna go ahead and lift up we have no hydraulic assistance here you're just gonna go ahead and put the little stick here where it belongs for indicated in the arrow so here we have the two liter ecoboost engine this is a four cylinder turbo producing 250 horsepower 280 pound feet of torque this is connected to a 10 speed uh, excuse me to an 8 speed automatic transmission i had a lot of 10 speeds today 8 speed automatic transmission of course is going to the all-wheel drive system that this ford escape has obviously it's kind of front oriented or front wheel drive kind of more oriented but it does you know activate the rear wheels in case you need be so really cool in, uh all-wheel drive system and of course plenty of power for this this is the most powerful engine you can get in the ford escape it's got plenty of torque i really love this engine even though in my older escape has probably lost some power and it's got a pretty not too good of a six speed this is eight speeds much much better much more refined than that older six speed so the other engine options that we have for the ford escape most of the ones we see this is kind of rare to see this two liter engine in the ford escape here unless you order one this, uh, this was a special order that somebody backed out of but most of the SUVs or most of the escapes that we get in Florida come with a 1.5 liter three cylinder turbocharged engine with 180 horsepower and 199 pound feet of, pump feet of torque. And of course, we also have the hybrid power plants as well with either plug in power or just a regular hybrid. This are, those are run between 180, 190, and about 210 horsepower, depending on which one you get. But I found this engine has still plenty of uh, plenty of highway mileage, especially the four cylinder, the, the three cylinder one. But if you want hyper mileage and the best economy, of course, you have to go plug-in hybrid but there we go guys this is a great engine good good little power plant and uh let's go ahead and knock the hood down and uh get inside this is a much better design because my other third generation escape this is really brittle and they did ford did redesign a lot of this stuff much more uh, space to work on these engines than the one before as you can i might tell i'm gonna do a video on my new on my older escape to see how how good it has been reliability wise all right guys let's put the hood down and there we have this new front of this. Uh, checking out this interior, as you can see, guys, we got a bit of soft leather here as well, more of hard plastics over here. It's kind of usual what you get with this mid uh, mid size or uh, you know this type of SUV. So obviously here you got the the Active X uh, leather here with a cloth interior, which is really nice. I really like the seats, really nice. The cloth here in the middle, bit of a leather, and you can see a lot of the red stitching all over the place. Let's go ahead, guys, and get inside real quick to check out the room. Now, as you can see, my. Uh, I'm about 5'11", the seat is where I'm driving. We still got about an inch or so left for, for room for knee space. So as you can see, we got a black headliner, which is really awesome because the one I have is, is light gray or light beige and it really gets started really easy, which is awesome. I love this black uh, roof line here, this black uh, headliner. And over here, guys, we have two AC outlets, which is really nice. We have basically two USB connections. This one doesn't have a house connection here in the back like mine does, but I guess they switched up for the USB connections. So I can see you got my back there and the plate here. But overall, really nice. Plenty of room here, plenty of head space as well. Really roomy. We got the headrest here in the middle. Of course, we also have here 
the basically your armrest along with some extra cup holders there and let me get my key back here but a really nice room for the what it is here guys enough here see here we have the interior uh, layout of this of the dash layout of this 2023 ford escape so really nice guys plenty of room in this back let's go and uh, head up front all right getting inside of the driver's side of this ford escape as you can see guys we got that red stitching here and the leather really really nice love the pattern here of course we got window controls mirror controls as well speaker and a bit of uh, it's not too much room here to put a lot of stuff of course over here we got those red leather seats as well here with that stitching and the cloth really really nice love the steering wheel the steering wheel's got a flat bottom steering wheel which really looks fantastic with that red stitching that then it's really nice and feels like the first good quality of this uh this leather steering wheel which is also perforated as well really really nice adjustable tilting the telescope and steering wheel of course we got light controls and everything no adjustable pedals or anything like that but still a very very nice interior to this escape as you can see we got those st line floor mats as well that come with this model so let's so go we're inside of that. this 2023 ford escape as you can see guys this kind of looks the same as the older version of course now we got sync 4 uh but for this one's got an eight screen eight inch digital screen that replaces the old uh, analog one i think the still this might be uh, still an option on the really really base uh escape but over here is really nice the steering wheel feels fantastic very grippy resting thick and the leather feels really excellent especially this perforated leather the stitching just makes it feel, feel really sporty of course you have the control here for your screens and the cruise control it uh it is screen here for your sink of course we're going to turn it off in a few moments but you see the interior is really nice very a little bit different than the third generation but it's still very nice the windshield feels definitely closer to you than the third gen obviously we got a little bit of carbon fiber because that's part of the st line trim that comes with this this uh this sport line or this st line uh escapes obviously for new for 2023 right so um obviously the guys this one's uh you know don't have any type of uh, say difference for the st line or the sport line they have no suspension or stiffer springs nothing like that is basically just visual stuff that ford gives you to this st line escape so let's go ahead guys and turn this one on it gets a little bit of ac because it is quite warm today here in florida let's go ahead and press, press our brake and hit the start button to get everything turned on as you can see guys here we have that coast to coast lighting that is an option on this model it's really really cool that lighting is at night so as you can see guys we got the eight inch screen lighting up uh, our other eight inch screen here for the sync 4 system and we're going to get some of that cool ac starting up so as you can see guys let's try to hear that little bit of a four cylinder engine tur turbo engine much more refined much more quieter and uh yeah really nice engine plenty of you cannot even hear the turbo on this one which is kind of rare usually you can hear the turbo whistle on this four cylinder ecoboost engines but not on this one at all so i guess four has worked on these engines to be a little more quieter let's go ahead and uh, shut the door the biggest change for 2023 of course is uh, the big screen you can get this one does not have it you have to option off the technology package which gives you the 13 inch screen the 13.2 inch screen gives you the integration of a bigger screen of course a little more options this one here is the 8 inch screen which still got uh which also has the sync 4 system in it uh this one here doesn't have any navigation or anything like that but you got some apps you got settings as well you can do of course we got apple android apple carplay uh, and uh, all kinds of great things that this has of course you can see the volume mode fickle hotspot you can turn this into a wipe last spot general settings all kinds of things you can do uh temperature units all that kind of stuff of course you got audio we do have sunlight radio as well on this one and of course we got the features here as well because of course we got drive modes we got basically normal echo sport and slippery we're going to put it on sport because that's the type of channel we are and of course uh what else features do we have driver assistance and owner's manuals of course here in driver's assistance that's one of the biggest things that have changed for 23 as well uh we got all kinds of pre-collision assist we have camera cross traffic alert traffic alert now we got intersection also we got a 360 degree camera as well that's new for 2023 uh of course call for copilot 360 i don't the ford does not offer the blue cruise on this at all uh not yet uh, but they have a pretty good active or you also have the option of getting a, basically a nice active um cruise control as well so really cool i mean a lot of good features a lot of safety features that have come about for 2023 but overall not bad at all for this for escape now as you can see guys if you get the 13.2 inch escape uh the screen all this eliminates you all have to operate everything do towards the basically the screen here you have at least manual this is a, a dual zone ac but everything else is kind of controlled to the screen which i don't really like i prefer just manual buttons like this or or, or yes this one here is equipped with a six speed base system which is not bad at all sounds pretty decent to be honest uh obviously you get an option of 10 speaker megan option system but coming down here guys of course we got your hazards of course your ac outlet so here we got basically your passenger on off uh display here we got dual zone ac with heated seats for the front and heated steering wheel as well 
USB connections, 12 volt connection over here. This will be your place where you can have your wireless charging. This one is not equipped with it. As you can see, we got a little bit of aluminum trim here as well, which is really nice. 10 speed automatic cup holders here. Of course, parking brake. You got basically your brake assist. We got basically your drive modes and basically your automatic parking as well here. That's optional on this one. Really nice. So coming here to the center, guys, we have a pretty much simple digital 8 inch screen here. The optional 12 inch screen, as you can get, is really nice as well. It got some more graphics and more features. This one's kind of more basic. As you can see, you can different with the trip information nickel coach all kind of things that you can do not much of a terms of you can switch around just a little bit and eliminate the speedo but if you go back to menu i have this one here on basically displaying also a tech around the digital speedometer as well we got digital gauges here for the fuel and the coolant and all with all this is basically what it is for this 2023 for escape now this one doesn't have this panoramic server which is an option you got some glass, uh, some glass holder basically just lights you for your maps and all that kind of stuff here as well really really simple but a really nice escape as well really nicely equipped i love this interior this leather is really nice of course you got some more storage space here no connections in there at all and of course you got your columbus here as well which is pretty roomy but uh there we go guys so you can see really nice escape much much more different just basically technology wise and screen wise and a little bit of difference is what this actualization of this 20 of this fourth generation escape gives you so let's go ahead guys and go out for a drive and check out how this girl drives let's put this so all right let's put this thing on reverse and check out the reverse camera it's pretty clear graphics as you see there's no sensors in the back as you can see and the directory line is not moving at all so this one's got a really base system in it uh which is kind of a shame but especially for 35 grand that this one is paying is paying for we'll take a look at the sticker in just a few moments uh once we get out but let's go ahead guys and go out for a drive and check out how this two liter you can boost Ford Escape drives. So of course we got the all-wheel drive system on this girl, which is kind of style, still front-wheel drive based or biased. Um, obviously the rear wheels come on board if, if you're losing front traction. But this thing feels really nice and I love the flat bottom steering wheel. It feels really sporty in this thing. Something kind of unique, you know, feel in a Ford Escape. The perforation feels fantastic. And this thing feels really light in your hands. Uh, very compact issue, which I really like, and especially this type of performance of this little SUV with 250 horsepower and 280 pump feet of torque on this eight speed automatic. So let's see how good this thing feels. Uh, as I remember guys, I do have the same engine, not this eight speed, but the six speed transmission, which is not the greatest. And, uh, but the same 250 horsepower. I do feel that my EcoBoost has lost power, but of course that thing's got over 110,000 miles on it. So, but uh, this one here, we're on sport mode. Oh yeah, this thing really, oh yeah, let's just feel the punch on this thing. And of course, are we coming up to the curves? really sporty yeah this thing feels pretty flat considering now of course we got bridgestone all season tires and not the sporty thing but this thing feels nice it responds very well much better than my 2016 escape with basically the same engine but i really like the brake feel as well very linear and got some good power to the brakes i love the brakes of the pads that ford puts on this car so all the cars have pretty good braking performance especially the escape that i've had and the ford f350 that you tested before this as well has some nice pads but this thing feels very agile very nice this the the, the right feels a little doesn't feel harsh by any means but it does it is on a little bit on the sportier side um i guess ford kind of still carries on that european kind of suspension when they introduced that fourth gen i'm gonna wait for this guy to go a little bit before we go so as you can see guys everything's on your fingertips the volume control all the ac everything's very close on hand of course the steering wheel is adjustable manually the tilting the telescope and steering wheel oh talk about ford escapes there it goes the third generation ford escape so all right guys oops we got another car coming but as you can see guys i got a little paper here that kind of blocks my view a little bit i can't take that off obviously but let's go ahead guys and give this little ford escape a little bit of go that's a brand new one it's only got nine miles but just giving a little bit of punch here and it feels nice yeah this thing got some good torque i'm barely touching the pedal and this thing just goes really nice yeah this yeah my ford escape is definitely done on power compared to this this thing feels peppy very peppy of course we are on support as well that's going to give us a little bit much better throttle response but this thing feels fantastic it feels really nice steering wheel is, i mean it's not a ton of feedback but it's pretty direct and this thing feels very lively it feels very active to you know to, to, to play a little bit very agile too i mean this is about a 3600 3700 pound suv but it feels pretty light in your hands to be honest and the brakes feel very good very nice linear brake eh? the more brake the more you get so yeah no brake down for anything like that really nice really nice what ford has done i like this interior i mean it's very it's a little more germanistic in terms of interior but it all works and i would, I would definitely like to try the new 13 inch screens and the 12 inch screens here as well 
to see how that works but um really nice interior really really nice this one does not have let me see oh, let's see if this one has nope this one does not have the auto hold on off oh no oh no is that the auto auto stop no it's off okay we're not gonna do that so i can say this was got the auto start I thought that was the uh, automatic park button. It's not, I don't like the auto stop start because it doesn't I really like it. Um, I prefer the auto hold on when you are in the light. So as you can see guys here, when you press it a little bit, it does go really nice. With Especially with the all-wheel drive, you can feel the pull very quick to go. I mean, this thing's just effortlessly accelerates to 50, 60 pretty easily. Uh, yeah, really fantastic feeling to this SUV, to this Ford Escape, really, really nice. So let me know what you guys think of this Ford Escape. Do you like the styling? Do you like the new, obviously the, Still, the Ford hasn't changed a ton, just a bigger screen from the inside. But uh, this thing feels really good now. I don't see the active thing. It came pretty close and there was no active. Sometimes it breaks automatically, but again, this one doesn't have it. But it's just a very, very nice the way this Ford Escape drives. Excellent. So if you guys like this type of content, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys uh, leave me a comment, see how you guys uh, enjoy this new uh, Escapes. Really, really nice, especially with this two liter engine. I haven't driven the two liter engine in this fourth generation Escape because you never see one. Most of the, the ones that Ford has here at the dealership are the 1.5 liters, especially even the, the uh, Bronco Sports as too. It's very hard to find a two liter engine. But uh, this thing feels way really nice, very uh, nice sporting drive on this two liter EcoBoost Escape, to be honest. This is, I would recommend this engine. This is probably the best engine you can get. And it's still pretty good in mileage. You're around, you're around 23 miles per gallon in the city if, if you're light on it. And about 28, 29 miles in the highway, uh, depending, of course, how you're driving, how fast you're going. But it's still pretty good fuel economy for what it is. And especially if you got all that nice power on top. Now, of course, you want to go you know do the best mileage you have to get the hybrid motors of course those are the most efficient engines they don't have that much power but this is more fun for me i'd rather have the power and sacrifice a little bit of that miles per gallon just that's just me of course personally so but yeah this thing feels fantastic very refined quiet doesn't make, make very little noise uh really really impressive and a little escape how Ford keeps refining these things little by little and this thing feels pretty well put together yeah, there's still some car plastics here and there but on the on the touch surfaces this is still pretty pretty nice let's go ahead guys and get this going oof you see the all-wheel drive catching on and this thing goes pretty nice yeah this thing has some good power this effortlessly goes yeah i can tell my folder escapes got lost quite a bit of power it's not nowhere near as quick as this thing for sure so let me know guys what you think of this Ford Escape, if you like it, if you like the styling, do you like the big 13 inch screen, uh, yeah this is fun, this is a fun SUV, this has got, definitely feels, the suspension definitely feels on the sportier side, I mean you can feel a little more of the bumps, you know, um, this is not a very luxurious, for example the Ford Edge is a little more softer in suspension, but this thing feels pretty fun to be honest. Let's go ahead and switch back to, let's see if we can do modes and go back to normal. And this, this thing will just relax a little bit and get everything back to normal. So, but uh, yeah, very nice, very nice this Ford Escape, uh, especially with this configuration of the two liter engine. I think it's the best combination for me. Uh, first, fantastic, plenty of power. It does not feel slow by any means love this interior even though it's all kind of black uh still love the red station gives a little bit of differential in color really nice what Ford has done to this one and i like this st line it's really nice the way they they, they looks i would i wouldn't really get this iconic uh silver i choose a blue color or a white would be my preference especially the blue uh something that would be fantastic so let me know what you guys think and if you guys uh like this type of content please subscribe uh, support the channel by subscribing guys we're very i'm just about to hit 1000 subscribers thank you so much everybody who has subscribed in this channel i really appreciate it so and uh there's more 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 videos coming guys i'm sorry i've been lacking in the past few weeks i uh, just got a little bit of a uh, knee scraping that i had i couldn't walk a lot for by about two weeks and then of course i mean kind of in the process of preparing my house for for sale and gonna move so that's gonna be taking me a little more time but i'm gonna be doing coming back at least coming back to the more videos at least two or three times a week so but anyway guys let me know what you guys think in conclusion really nice how this does this 2023 ford escape drives especially in this configuration um 
let me know what you guys think of this redesign for the escape i really like it right fantastic really nice i mean it's really sporting this engine has plenty of power and uh this is the, the basically the one i would get especially with this engine so let's go ahead and just park this one over here guys actually i'll stop right here and uh conclude the video guys so in conclusion uh for thirty five thousand dollars yes we check out the power this and this thirty five thousand dollars for this ford escape now this is the uh st line select now of course this one comes standard if you get the two liter engine it comes standard with all-wheel drive if i'm correct that's the way it was before i think on the uh stealth edition before it was kind of the same thing as this but uh, this is a fantastic little hv perfect size five passengers feet here pretty pretty comfortably pretty good gas mileage and plenty of power for this hv so all right guys thank you very much for watching hope you guys had a fantastic day and please subscribe if you haven't done it hit the hit that notification bell and leave a comment for you let me know what you think of this escapes if you had good experience I, mine has over 110,000 miles i'm gonna do a video on my uh, ownership experience since we, we've owned that since brand new so all right guys thank you for watching have a fantastic day and we'll catch you on the next video take care Bye bye